Going two for three so far in 2019. That won't last. I do know that Jacqueline over at Six Minutes For Me did really enjoy this book, so I will link her blog post down below. Um, and other people have enjoyed this book, so this book is not hurt for good reviews. I just found this book to be very unsuccessful, and in reading it I could see all of the things where it was trying to do so good, and for me, did not stick the landing. Putney is uh, described as a Lolita novel, but Lolita Retold, or Lolita Part 2, or Lolita Today, or, or, or many obvious comparisons towards Lolita because it is about an older man courting a child, a young female child. And yes, in the sense that this is a story of an older man courting a young female child, and all of that implies, it is a Lolita story. It is not Lolita. It is not Lolita Part 2. I, I would disagree with all of those affirmations of what this text is. This book is a book that strives so hard to be its own individual story, and I think that's where the heart of its flaw is. We get very specific, long-winded backstory about a young girl and this older gentleman and the way that they fall in love and then progress and we start to get more and more perspectives and it, it develops. It develops way too much to the point where the second half of it could have been its own book. This is ultimately a story of a woman who realizes that her love, her romance with an older man when she was a child was not in fact love and was in fact grooming and was in fact sexual assault and was in fact really, really bad non-romantic and problematic. And this book did really lean into the legal aspect of what it means to be underage, the legal aspect of what is deemed rape, and the legal aspect of what is consent. It only vaguely touched on the moral aspect. No character really fully ever reconciled, or at least in my opinion, no character ever really fully reconciled with what actually happened in this book. And the reason why I feel like I didn't get that that oomph, that extra thing, is because this book is written with a very lofty prose. I think the author knew she was handling an important story, a, a story that isn't often told, a grooming story, a story that seems harmless, or may have seemed harmless at a time, but upon further reflection is, is really, really not okay. But I think the weight of that, the importance of telling this story, to her caused her to lift up this story a little too much, to the point where this lofty prose really detracted from any chance of empathy. It was so elevated and so cerebral that at times I was curious as to why this story seemed far more important or far more on a pedestal than the everyday stories of when this actually happens and for actual people who've experienced similar things. This book seemed more important than its readers. There was a lot of uh, poetry in this text that I didn't really care for, a lot of metaphor that changed gender to make its point. Um, there's a scene where the woman is being held by the man and the man is described as having a mother's breast, and I, I don't think in this novel gender swapping like that for the sake of metaphor doesn't work because gender is a very active conversation at play in this novel, so so there were just some sort of disconnect moments for me there. And I do feel like the ending of this text, I won't spoil anything, because I do, I do encourage people to go out and give it a shot. Maybe don't purchase it, get it from your library, and then if you like it, buy it. But um, I, I, I do feel like the ending really does undercut any chance of nuance that this book could have. It takes a very strong stylistic twist to what Jacqueline at Six Fitness for Me refers to as a thriller-like ending, which is so out of place of the world that has been established. There are also some really odd, drastic sidesteps of technology, and technology is only introduced when very convenient for the plot, so it just seemed like there was an idea of a story wanting to be told, but the execution didn't, didn't really work. I felt like you could start this book halfway through. Start this book with the discovery of this woman realizing that she was groomed, and her reconciling with that, and then harken back to the childhood, and then show how it actually seemed to her, I feel like that would have created a more specific and more enticing conversation to be had regarding a very serious and very prominent topic. 
we didn't get that. We got a too long book that didn't know how to end and ultimately, for me, lost its message along the way. I'll just say one more thing that, you know, the main character having sex for the first time, essentially because she is not at the age to give consent, being raped for the first time, is handled very reverently and very uh, necessarily for the text. But then other people's, other characters' experiences experiencing the same thing are treated as plot reveals? Like plot twists? Intriguing textual points? And so it really does, it, it, it makes this disconnect between reader and, and, and story where this character's experience of grooming and, and her experience in a non-consensual childhood relationship with an adult male is, is cut off from the possibility of that actually being the story of, of somebody who has experienced that. And I'm sure some people out there will be able to relate to this story. There is a story for everyone. This might be someone's story. And, and I don't mean to detract from that. But for me, if you are a reader who has not experienced this instance, the possibility for relation to this story isn't gonna be there. I hope I've made sense. I, I hope I, I've made sense. This wasn't a good book for me. I'm not mad that I read it. I don't regret reading it. I'm, in fact, happy that I read it because I was very intrigued by it, and the cover's really, really good. But, um, yeah, this was a two out of five stars, and I look forward to seeing what I get to read next. So if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, opinions, or beliefs otherwise about Putney, I would love to discuss this book with you. This is a very discussion-worthy book, so if you liked this book, please let me know why, and please let me know your opinions, because this didn't work for me, but maybe I'm just coming from a particular viewpoint and life, and therefore don't have the life and viewpoint to experience it in a different way. You know what I mean? I, I think that that does play into this book. It doesn't play into every book, but in this one, I feel like it might. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.